Hello, Alexia Foodies. This week on my Facebook page, You Had Me at Kitchen, I listed three dishes that I typically make on Christmas Eve, and you were to decide what you wanted me to make. The votes came in. It was so exciting. I thank you so much for voting. The winner was Alexia's Spicy Baked Scrat Italiano, and I am so excited to share this with you. You know, when I think about Christmas Eve and Christmas time, it brings back so many warm and wonderful memories of my childhood. Not only was Christmas Eve the night before Santa Claus came, but it was La Vigilia, the Feast of the Seven Fishes. I can remember as a child with my mother and father and sister going to Mama and Papa's house. We'd walk into the smell of calamari. Mama would be frying up some smelts and Papa Tony would be at the sink cleaning the squid for Mama Mary's famous squid sauce. God, those were wonderful memories. All my aunts, uncles, cousins. It was such a different time then, you know, and that's the concept of my show, You Had Me at Kitchen. Bringing back childhood memories, bringing back memories of your past and continuing them with your family today. In this world, it's so busy, no one has time, but let's just try to make the time. And my concept is bring back Sunday dinner. A lot of people have been asking me, when is your new season coming out? Early 2019, produced by the ever so amazing Armand D. Louise. Right now, you can still catch my previous episodes on the CW Providence on Tuesday and Thursday mornings at 8.30 a.m. and my RITV on Saturday mornings at 8 a.m. In the meantime, I've been putting out a couple of shorts for my Alexia Foodies, which, fun fact, my husband has been filming and my 11-year-old son, Robbie, has been editing. God, kids these days are amazing. So let's get to the scrod. Are you ready? Right now, I'm going to show you the ingredients that you're going to need to make Alexia's Spicy Baked Scrod Italiano, baby. Are you ready? So we're going to start with some beautiful scrod that I caught today while ice fishing. Just kidding, but isn't that gorgeous? Some pastine ground peeled tomatoes, one can. By the way, we're using two and a half pounds of scrub, some fresh parsley, some fresh minced garlic, about five cloves, some fresh lemon, which I usually use a half of a lemon, two cans of sliced olives, my favorite Campari tomatoes. They are so juicy and tasty, and you know I like things. What? Spicy, that's right, Alexia Foodies. Tabasco, one of my secret ingredients in this dish. Some red chili flake for spice. We have garlic powder, garlic salt, cracked black pepper. We're gonna start with some cooking spray and a little bit of olive oil. Here we go. Now we're gonna start with some cooking spray. And now we're going to layer the fish in single layers right on the bottom of the pan. And now we're gonna season the fish with some cracked black pepper. some garlic powder, and some garlic salt. Now we're ready to add in our Campari tomatoes. Put them right over the top, spread them around. We're gonna go with our garlic next. Just pour it right in. Now we're gonna add in our pastine tomatoes right over the top. It already smells delicious. Our black olives, already chopped. Just add them right into the dish. Now we're gonna go with a little red chili flake. Oh, I love this. And now we're gonna go with the lemon, half a lemon, and use your hand to catch the seeds and just put all the beautiful lemon juice, sprinkle it on. Now we're going to put the fresh parsley. Okay. I love the freshness that the parsley brings. Some Tabasco. Depends on how spicy you like it. And the final step, I like to add some olive oil. Right over the top. Look at that. Oh my. Does that look amazing or what? So right now the fish is ready to go into our preheated oven, which I preheated around 375. We're gonna cover this with aluminum foil. We're gonna bake it for about 40 minutes covered. Then we're gonna take off the foil and we're going to continue to bake it for about another half hour. 
you know, you can tell when the fish is done when you kind of pull it apart and it gets really flaky and white. At that time, at the very end, you're going to broil it for about 10 minutes so it gets a little crispy on top and so delicious. I know you're going to love this dish. I'll show you the finished product very soon. So we just took the fish out of the oven. We're going to take off the foil and we're going to let it reduce for about another 10 minutes. Check it out. Here is the finished product. The fish is done and you're ready to go. I cannot wait for you to taste it. Robbie, you ready to taste it? Yeah. Hey, this is my 11-year-old son, my amazing Robbie, who has been editing all my videos. <laughs> yeah. What do you think, Robbie? Are you ready to try this yeah. fish? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Say hey, Alexia Foodies. Me? Yeah. Hi, Alexia Foodies. Do you need Peter coming down to have some of this delicious Alexia's Gratitaliano? Give me a kiss, babe. Mwah, I love you. You know, I like to serve it with some Yukon Gold potatoes and Vidalia onions and some string beans. Check it out. Hey, guys. You're here. Jenny and Pete and Ravi. We're ready to eat. You're ready to eat. Tell me what you think. Oh, it looks so, so good. Let's check this out. I don't know what I'm going to eat first. You're trying the fish? I'm doing the fish first. Wow. I'm going to try the fish too. Do you like That's it, Ravi? Good. Oh, I'm big. Wow. <laughs> that is so delicious. Are you kidding me? I'm going to try the potatoes. Mmm. Oh, my God. I want to do a happy dance. Yeah. So good. So, so good. Delicious. Light, flaky. Yep, perfect. You had me a kitchen, baby. Perfect. Merry Ooh. Christmas to all and to all a good night. Merry Cheers. Christmas. So I will...